Uh, tell me how you got here. I know you were at Chattanooga catching all sorts of balls, UAB for four months, you told me, and then, uh, then now here. Um, Chattanooga, um, I, had my, I did my four years there. I had a good season last year, and I had a sit down with the head coach, and we had a conversation about things that I needed and things that he needed, and our our path in the line for the future. So I decided to hit the portal. I um, went to UAB, and then that wasn't a great fit for me. I felt like, but I did learn the offense. So I still, you know, I was, I was doing my job. And then I felt like as the time went on, it wasn't gonna work out for me. So I decided to portal again and ended up here. You haven't missed many balls. So uh, is, is that something you take pride in, gathering that ball in regardless of where it's at? Yes, sir. Uh, see ball, take ball, that's my ball. First, wow. first experience out here at Camp Higher Ground. What have been your impressions on it? Have you ever experienced anything like this before? Never experienced anything like this. Um, but I am a country guy, so I'm from Georgia. So all I see is trees. I'm not used to it, but it, it is a good place to be. Now you talk about your decision to come to Cincinnati. What stood out to you most about this program and this university to make you choose this is where I want to spend the next year of my life, uh, uh, college football? Initially, I, was, I thought I was going to come here first when I first hit the portal. And then I had already did my research on who was here and what the receiver room looked like and who was the head coach. I did my research on everything. The uh, Nipper Stadium, when it was built, the program, history, everything. We've seen a lot of chirping back and forth between the DBs and receivers. How has that kind of helped get you through camp? And what is that competitiveness like between the two groups? A very competitive groups, offensive, defense, and receivers and DBs. Uh, but I feel like as, as a receiver, we can't let that get to us. Because we know defensive guys are always going to do the chirping. We're just going to let our game play. Last week we talked to all the quarterbacks. They all mentioned you. I said, give me three receivers. And you ran the mix each time. And then I look out there, eight, eight nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten are the guys bringing the balls in. Yes, sir. Uh, so it looks like a, a pretty good uh, starting line up there. Yeah, it'll be a good thing. You're taking it in for granted. I think it'll be a good thing if I can start, but I'm not. I'm not going to be sad if I don't because I feel like I'm going to put my work in regardless and get my job done. Coming into this program, what were the coaches telling you that they wanted to see from you throughout, you know, fall camp? Uh, uh, when I first got here, well, when I came on my visit, they wanted to see leadership. And if I decide to come here, that's what they wanted me to bring to the room, bring my experience and what I played during my games in uh, college. For, for those who maybe aren't familiar with you as a player, what do you feel like you bring to this program on the field? Uh, outside of experience and, and competitiveness, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a great guy. Uh, I feel like I'm a teammate first. And if someone else has a great play, I'm going to run down the field and try to celebrate with them. Mike. You have to catapult thing on what? Yeah, what's your speed? Uh, right now, I think my top speed is like 21.6. Well, it's not exactly slow. No, it's not. I happen to have just several guys who are 22. 22. Yeah. Yes, sir. But if you catch the ball, and, you know, the end zone can make you faster sometimes. Absolutely. Michael Masari has been a guy who stood out there within the wide receiver room. Just talk about what you've seen from him throughout your time here. Mike, uh, Mike is a competitive guy. Uh, he's, he's probably got some of the, the best hands I've seen as of my years in uh, college. Uh, balls in the air, nine times out of 10, Mike is coming down with that ball. Like I say, we're in the middle of a quarterback battle out here at camp. What have been your impressions on all three quarterbacks? Uh, Soresby, I feel like he's gonna take that risk and, and give you a chance with the ball. And I feel like uh, Lichty, uh he's definitely going to make the right reads in, in like the scramble drill. He's going to look downfield. He's not going to try to take off and run. But he's going to give the receivers a chance also. And Samad Jones, he's got that zip on the ball. Talk about your excitement to be back out there at Nippard Stadium for the first time here in just roughly two weeks. Talk about your excitement to get out there versus Towson. Uh, right, since I got here May 20th, I've been asking the guys every day, like, what's, what's the experience like on Saturday? They told me all great things. So I'm looking very um, forward to that. Awesome, thanks.